Apparently this is loot and not just an exceptionally regal pencil case. Also apparently this and definitely this are also loot. Oh, the nudity in my bag. Hey guys, name's Fen playing some uh, The Dark Mod William Steel Part 2 Home Again. This time I'm gonna go through that door because I believe that I haven't done it before. It's only one more day until I get irradiated up the brain hole. Wow, that, no, not at all, but yeah, and uh, so it's going to be pretty amazing, but then I'm going to have to get some other professional opinion, so I won't have that much or any info to give, because I'm too broke to afford my own still. Oh, that was a joke, I'm actually a billionaire. Wow, blood on the asphalt, you're falling through. It did 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 Unfortunately, I cannot go and take a better look at it, because it's on the street, and, but... Fortunately, I managed to grab some coins as payment. Also, I was going to go way back to the beginning and look at uh, a box of wood across a certain street. What? Oh, jeez. Oh. 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 Uh, oh, this is just here. Jeez, this place, just a big old circle, ain't it? What? Oh, no, 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 no. This is another place of the place I've been to. See? See. Can I still even found the watch station? So let's see. Well, there's the, there's the Builder's Church. City Watch is still kind of over there. The Builder's... Okay, so I guess I would have to go by the Builder's again, which should be kind of over that way. Okay, well, this is my fir <coughs> well, first class ticket to fame and scratchy voices. It's going to be amazing. That's what I say when I've got nothing to say. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is atrocious. That's my catchphrase, and I will cause all my followers to say it over and over again until it's beaten into their heads in a very non-spiritual manner. It looks like everybody places their gold below the statues of the Builderite. It's quite a stupid thing to do. You could use that gold to get some pants. Look at that guy. He's, he's not wearing any pants. Is that supposed to be a joke? Or just life itself handing you a bad lemon? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's a bunch of coins, but they're not really worth much because a coin is worth only a coin's worth. Oh, this is not the street. I was afraid that this might, in fact, be the street, but no, it's merely another freaking couple of pennies. Look at me, reduced to picking up pennies. What sort of a thief am I? Well, one with no standards. And there's that. Again, I keep coming back to this central place. Jeez. Okay, well, these birthday sparkler generators look pretty cool, but they're quite inconvenient. Brother Pietro, Brother Carlo took these arrows off a thief he caught trying to break in last night. When your shift ends, take them down to Friar Samuel at the forge. Perhaps he can use them for the fire. Brother Brelelelele. We are all Draculas up in here. It's kind of their religious thing, you understand? I think there may be something of worth through this alley here. Maybe it will lead me across a street to a wooden box, or maybe it will just take me to another place. <laughs> it's pretty funny how that may or may not be official language taken from this place to another place. Also, uh, ombudsman and estoppel are both words that are completely silly but are taken extremely seriously by the legal profession. I guess I'm not going to the builder's place. After all, I'm instead heading kind of north and Maybe to the watch station, which is maybe where I want to go in the first place. Oh, sh crap. Female Legolas is over there. I'm sorry, but she... Her model just looks super dashing. Like, she's got the sword and the, like, elven-looking clothing and stuff. Lab key? Lab? Elves don't do science. And the other day I was catching up on some uh, Master Foundries walkthroughs and it's... <laughs> <laughs> Funny because they're very much more professional and respectable than me. <laughs> Doing the whole thing, showing all the footage, and me, I'm just like, cut, 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 blah, blah, blah. Literally, for no reason, getting popular. Not a big self image, do I? Attention! No open flames in this lab. There's no guarantee that any violator's body parts will be buried in the same grave. <laughs> Guild Master Loman. Does this say the same thing? Yes, it does. Well, I got a lab key, so there's no need to be going and using some wasteful of time lockpicks. Time is a limited resource that all of us must expend in our lives. And so forth. That guy looks like he's wearing robes that would easily get caught in machinery and get chemicals spilled on them in a lab and stain them forever. 
priests, they just absolutely don't know how to do science either. Except, it's a weird Doctor Who trench coat, which is not that at all, but I don't know anything about that. Doctor Who doesn't ever... D the Doctor, sorry, does not even wear a trench coat, possibly, but... The, I don't know. Well, I don't think I've needed to use rope arrows much or at all thus far. So maybe there's all kinds of plute that I'm missing. I notice my tendency to have a sillier and stutterier speech pattern the more years I do these videos for. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty full of personality and character and very entertaining. Oh, I see. It's locked. I see. Well, for some reason I'm in the mood to ghost you, dude. Except I don't know how I would get time to read that with this guy waltzing all up the place. So instead I'll read this all I can. Just follow him around the circle. Man! Ah. <sighs> Oh boy, these dark mod guys sure are unpredictable in their turning around sometimes. Well, now that I know he stays over there. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Okay, time to pick up another pencil moistener from 158012 and read a book that you normally can't read books like this, but hey. 112. I delivered the formula upgrades to the forge to build Bishop Barrow and receive proper payment per our contract. 113. Apprentice Mickle notified me today that where there was a breakthrough on the power amplifier, they've shown that the units can be much smaller and still maintain the stability of the output. This is tremendous news. Ever since that fiasco with Brother Penshock, orders for the power amplifier have been down. Customers thought we had something to do with that crazy priest's plans for the city. I've set up an amplifier in my lab to study Mikkel's claim. 114. I'm not sure we can keep up with Barrow's demands. He's got some bug up his ass about needing to increase production and efficiency of the forge. I told him we would look into it, but it would take at least a month. He wasn't happy about that, but he can go stew in his church cellar. 115. The murders have everyone on edge. Some of the guild have taken to staying in the dorms downstairs instead of braving the city streets at night to get to their rooms. I pointed out that the watch has beefed up patrols, but they don't care. Cook will need to take on extra food stores to feed the cowards while they refuse to leave the guild hall. At least there's one good thing about them being afraid of the streets. I can get them to work earlier in the morning, and they work through meals. 116. Obtained another sign from my collection. Bear and Belcher. I wonder if the tavern owner ever saw a live Belcher. Which might be a brick. 117. Next week, I need to send someone across town to Claymore Jail. It's time for the annual maintenance of the two small elevators we installed for Warden Fielder last year. The one in the kitchen probably needs it, given the amount of abuse it takes from the rough kitchen staff. The other one, however, is only used by Fielder. He warned me when we installed it to keep mention of it out of our records, but he can go sniff Belcher farts for all I care. <laughs> Everything goes into the books. 118. I have yet to unmask the person behind the order of one Gibbs sound recorder, several sound players, and dozens of blank cylinders. It's been three months, but I've had no luck. Leaving the shipment at the foot of the clock tower at midnight was quite unusual. At least the payment was conventional, the gold arriving safely by messenger the day before. I must talk to Officer Gilchrist about doing some snooping over at the city watch station. For some reason, the unusual anonymous order smells like something they would do. 119. Make sure Gibbs is given a nice bonus for his invention. 120. Received a few rope arrows today. Need to get Apprentice Moore to break them down and see if there's any room for improvement. Hmm. Is this the Inventors Guild or the Brothers of the Hammerite of the Builderite Guild? Because uh, the builders seem to be pretty industrious here. And that's somebody else's deal. Don't be stealing it if you plicks. A Treatise on Mines by Lucius Lohman, Guildmaster Inventors Guild. My work in the area of explosion containment has shown that large metal vessels are difficult to transport and require much more explosive material to be effective. Smaller vessels, such as the mines invented three decades ago by master inventor Rufius Mine, can be very effective and are obviously much easier to transport. 
Much care must be taken with mines so they don't explode prematurely, which can be detrimental to the transporter's health. Mine placement must be... Oh, hell. I'm going to need a glass of wine if I'm to finish this in time for the next month's guild meeting. I don't know how I can get it done in the time allotted. I need to finish writing these notes, then transcribe them into an official guild-approved book. Rats! The Gimp Sound Player. Blah, blah, blah. I've read that already. I guess this is the Inventor's Guild. They seem to have stumbled into a completely different place here. Oh, yeah. I thought I was in a builder. No, I'm not. I... Jeez. Forgetful. I thought I was in a watch station. And I thought I was literally everywhere on Earth that it's possible to be, except where I was. So my entire voice for that guy was friggin' wrong. I want to get up through here, but a lot. Uh-oh. I'd better make like a leaf and get out of here on electricity. Okay, so that's the Inventor's <laughs> Guild. I reckon that's all there is to it. And it's a little northwards of where I'm trying to go. But there's a new guy. There's Halston, which I forget who he was. I don't know who Barristan or Finch are either. I probably heard it at some point, but yeah, who can remember these names? Where the bloody hell did I even come from? Was it here? Can I get down there? Nothing, anyway. There's rope arable things, however. Finally, what? <laughs> if you jump up there, you get catapulted off because of that slanted roof over there. Also, yeah, rope arrows have a bit of a thin thing. Somebody's making some very suspicious noise. Or not. Rope conservation wins again. Also, I'm quite aware that I'm kind of going all over the place. And I'm quite aware that I may have missed a scandalous painting. <laughs> I guess sometimes paintings are loot. I kind of forgot that, so I probably missed a bunch earlier on as well. That's okay. Almost at my goal. Living close to the city watch station has its advantages. While everyone else is spending money on private guards, I get to keep mine to spend on luxuries. There's no way anyone will be able to steal anything from me. They wouldn't dare. Any thief so bold as to enter this house would soon find himself at the wrong end of my sword. And then, aha! He would rue the day he set foot on my property. It's comforting to know that the watch officers patrol the streets nearby. <laughs> this guy is an overconfident sort, and he needs to be decockified before he gets himself hurt. With a enormous cockiness. You know, I'm absolutely nothing wrong with this. Oh my god, there's robots in this here freaking engine? Hey, that's freaking awesome. I've never seen these things. Like, sweetest thing ever. I wonder if they've got boilers you can put up with water. I was like, I want to see his rear end. Come on, show me your rear end, buddy. I don't mean you no harm. I'm just your average, everyday, creepy guy with no concept of class. Nah, so freaking awesome, though. Machines don't distract as easily as people. Oh, I'm supposed to get out that way? Fine, I guess that's the watch station. However, one might imagine I kind of want to go back and check out that builder place a bit first. <laughs> Doesn't count as the street. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Climbing is very robust in this engine. I like robustity. It's one of the many things I enjoy in this life. The others include video games and talking, and absolutely nothing else. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I seem to have alerted the wrong side of the dogs. So, uh, now, how did I even get here? Seriously, I'm trying to get back, but there's like literally no way to do so. Oh my god, I'm stuck at a point of no return. How good. Pretty sure I must have fallen down from that platform. I can't touch the street, but I can touch a guy who goes on the street. Oh, you ass! Turn around like an idiot. Why would you? Goddamn troll! I'll take it. How did I get over here before? Bink. Here comes that entertaining fun kind of frustration where I... I am frustrated, but it's fun because it's... The <laughs> game is pushing back against me, and I rather enjoy that. <laughs> here, though, the no street walking objective is extremely artificial. 
and now I once again can't figure out how to get back here because I can't seem to jump up on top of this thing ever, neither with mantle nor jump. Can't possibly be screwed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Somehow managed it, okay. Well, I have to get back to where I started as an objective, so there must be a way for me to like rope back up here or something. Maybe if I go all the way through this house, I'll be able to double back around. That's, eh, that's probably it. All right, let's go meet the little puffy puffy steamboat. Puffity puff overs! Okay, out I get stand! <coughs> Seems got a big old spotlight. Maybe they're meant to be indestructible. Maybe fire arrows can do it. There are fire arrows in this game, right? Yes, of course. Well, I kind of want to see it happen, actually. Just out of curiosity. I mean, I'm not going to do it for real, but... Oh, yeah, they don't really explode. They merely... Well, that's it. He just kind of falls down and down. Oh, yeah, these goddamn rag dolls can't explode very well. It's really seriously disappointing. It's... Uh, engine designers should really consider such a thing when they're doing a thing. I'm guessing this is Doom 3's fault, maybe? I don't know. It's just like, I mean... <laughs> they're supposed to be ragdolls, so they... flop all around, but really they're more rigid than ever. They can't splatter, they can't break apart. Well, you, they could, but apparently they don't often. Design decision? I don't know. But, uh, this seems like it could be... No, this is a way forward. What on earth is going on here? <laughs> okay, the sewer grates are malfunctioning. Uh, that's pretty weird. Uh, they don't seem to be malfunctioning in my favor, however. I seem to be able to... Oh, what? Oh. Uh, oh, okay, this is the watch station, so I... Now that I'm here, I guess I could sneak around. Hey, maybe next time we'll do the whole let's walk around town and do a thing properly thing. Oh my god, it requires two picks. Inconceivable. It's not how you say it. Bridgeport City Watch Station. But why do I recognize this style of thing from William Steele 1, eh? Perhaps because it's from William Steele 1. Well, they're certainly overarming me with an excessive amount of ammunition, but at least they don't let me carry 50 million swords. At least there is that. Oh, this is just some sort of armory place. Perhaps if I shot an arrow at that button, it could... Whoa. That is a broken-ass model with weird cuts in it. That's the kind of thing that used to happen in 3DS Max when I used that. If you would go uh, putting a object within another object and cutting a hole out. I can't remember what that technique was called. Also, they were called primitives, not objects. Oh, hey, that... Whoa, Jesus Christ! It's because the guy unlocked it at the same time as me. Well, maybe there's something underneath. There's always something underneath, but now I've kind of screwed that up. Guess I'll just wait for my foe to appear. Of course he's not going to now, is he? Jeez, jeez. Oh, there he comes. And he's going to turn on the light again. Fortunately, doesn't matter one bit at all because I'm smart. <laughs> Oh, I can get a closer up look at these guys. This is a really sweet looking model. That's so awesome. It's got a big old spotlight on his, on his face. That, that's so cool, man. Great way to take the robot concept and make it kind of a little less silly for people that don't like silly things. I mean, I'm guessing that everyone's going to come and turn the lights on if they're found to be off. So I better be quick and slick about it. That is a big old builder bible, you could tell, because it's the only book that's that thick. Telephones, who the heck needs them? These people have the internet. And very modern toiletries, as you can well see. This place looks pretty big, actually. I mean, it's the final area, so no doubt it would be. <sighs> Records didn't even require a specialized key. But there... Hello? Is one anyway... Do I... I don't have a flash bomb or anything. Oh, it's a key for a different place. He seems to be playing cards with himself or looking at some disgusting material. That's a pretty cool motion. I'm guessing custom motions in the dark mod are... <laughs> nice physics. Probably easier to do than in Thief. Uh, oh, I see. There's nothing in here other than his key. I'm guessing he noticed his key being lost. So I got to watch out for that sort of behavior in a realistic engine. 
and also remember to do so. There's another key on one of these guys cycling around here, and I kind of want to get it because I kind of collect those things, you know? I'm away doing important research. No one is to look for me. If you find me and bother me, you will do back-to-back -back shifts tomorrow. You know, I want to know what he was looking at. Maybe it's something funny. That's oh, I can't, though. You. Card. It flips out. Was it supposed to be like a dirty card or something? I don't know. Could be, but, well, who knows. Oh, what? That's Lieutenant Beer's key. Why won't it unlock his damn door? Because a lockpick does. Logic. Doesn't seem to lock that other door there, either. At least I didn't hear a locking sound, but... Uh. While I am... Very fortunate to have great support from... Why can't I read that properly? <laughs> Aww. Captain Marston, I want to lodge a complaint against Lieutenant Ames. Last night I found him in the kitchen, passed out near the beer kegs. He's investigating the West District murders and it doesn't seem he's taking it seriously. I suggest assigning that case to me. I have informants and with some pressure I'm sure we'd see a break in the case. Lieutenant Ames has no informants because no one in this district trusts him. I await your decision on this matter, Lieutenant Beer, but not Beer Drinker. These might be Easter eggs if you read them, but <laughs> once again, who likes eggs? They're just disgusting things that get thrown onto you and uh, by stupid punk kids who later form a rap band that becomes popular, and then they're even stupider and punker. Uh, 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 uh. And that's how you get the secret box. Oh, crap. Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm cowering on a chair. Man, more readables that are right on the path of a guy patrolling. That's kind of a jerk thing to do, I'll be seriously honest. Can't slash banners either. Yeah, there could stand to be more interactivity. Oh, pfft. kinda, but yeah. There's that guy with the key. Storage. Oh! I don't know, man. <laughs> Point of is kind of hard to tell still sometimes. Okay. This cash box is to hold fines collected during the day and night. The officer on watch is also allowed to use the money in the cash box to pay citizens for weapons they turn in. It is not for any other use, including food and drink, or for gambling. There will be a meeting in the lower storage area tomorrow at 7 a.m. to address the recent pilferage. Remember that civilians are restricted to the front lobby unless we've invited them in for a talk or they've taken up residence in the cells. Lieutenant Beer will discuss increased security and other measures to be taken. Captain Marston. Captain Marston, Mr. Jedder's Fred is due back from Eastport in two days when he'll find that he's had a burglary at his house. If you want to solve it before he gets back, check the Johannes house. That's the one that almost burned down. I hear Johannes has been a bit light fingered of late. A friend. 325. Mrs. Cowworthy says her son Michael is missing. Officer True Blood will investigate. Mr. Thompson turned in a pike he found in his dooryard, gave him a silver coin for turning in a weapon. Mr. Camber claimed he lost a pouch of silver coins when he was being held here a few days ago. I checked the register and Camber was in cell number one. I told him we would look for it and let him know. Mr. Ayers complained that a young oaf stole bread from his shop. Officer Wills will investigate. Mr. Allworthy lost. Needed directions to the Builder Church. Told him to head southwest and look for the smoke from their forge. Mr. Steele asked for whoever's investigating the murder of his parents. Lieutenant Ames took him to one of the interrogation rooms. When Steele left, he was very angry, and the lieutenant had a very determined look on his face. Mumbled something about calling out the dogs. Mrs. Francone... Steele is me, by the way. Someone took the bear and Belcher sign from in front of her inn near the Inventors Guild. Officer True Blood will investigate, stepped out for a piss, and came back to find a final note on the desk about the Fuchs burglary. Need to give that to Captain tomorrow. <laughs> There will be a meeting, blah blah blah. But 
This must be the room I was in for some reason. Interrogation must actually mean interrogation and not as a euphemism for absolute brutality, the likes of which has not been seen since Hitler flexed his asshole stupidity all over the world. Half of these things are just the same pick twice in a row. It's kind of comedic. Sure there's a lot of reading material here though. Also, that's a map. I guess that's an official super canon map. The great thing about the Dark Mod is that, you know, fan mission authors contribute little bits and pieces to the world, and like other missions use them, and, and it, the world kind of builds organically. It's really cool. Um, Lieutenant Ames. Oh, it's not that guy. I think I know who might be pilfering coins and rings from around the station. I found a secret hiding spot in the records room, and I'm going to place myself there tonight. If someone comes in, I'll know they're the culprit. Oh. Is that that room he's in, then? Hmm. Really? 225. Need to talk to the captain about diverting funds for sewer tunnel safety. <laughs> the men are complaining about the rats and dampness down there. The old tunnels weren't meant for wandering around in, but since they're the only way to get to Claymore Jail without walking through the city, Captain Marston and Warden Fielder want to continue patrolling them. I just like going down that old elevator. It always feels like it's going to tear apart at any moment. 3-3. Three, three. Lieutenant Beer's becoming more of a hindrance every day. Always going on about the owls getting into the waste room. An owl must have bit him when he was a young boy. Tomato didn't finish the job. The West District murder investigation is stalled. Marston sent all the evidence to Claymore, but gave me no reason for doing that. How does he expect me to make any progress if I can't put the evidence through a rigorous examination? 325. The Steel Sun came to the station today. I told him we were following up on several leads. He seems like a reasonable fellow, but he was seething with anger when he left here empty-handed. I need to keep an eye on Steel. He strikes me as someone who would take matters into his own hands. And we don't want that. When I went downstairs to the cells to check on things, I passed Beer coming up. He was searching his pockets and mumbling something about losing the paper where he wrote down the evidence room combination. The fool is supposed to commit that to memory. And now he's left it sitting somewhere for anyone to pick up. I'll have to talk to Captain Marston about this. Well, 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 well. Something on someone's waist. Once again, there's a cork there for literally no reason. This wine table is corked. Oh, oh, oh. Another interrogation chamber. But they're so bare and with no furnishings. How can you interrogate someone in such a dreadful circumstance, darling? Captain, I spotted that thief Rolf Peterson eyeing Montfort's warehouse. Asked him how he, what he was about. Asked him what he was about, but he said it was none of my business. So I knocked him down and searched him. Found a couple of floor maps on Claymore Jail, which I confiscated, and I'm delivering with this note. Who in their right mind would try to break into Claymore? Warden Fielder would string him up on the spot. Do you want me to question to bring Peterson in for further th th questions? Ames. Well, looks like Lieutenant, his aims are to misbehave. Is this an elevator? No, it's just a room with a lower portion in it for literally no reason. Hmm. I don't remember if I've been to a, some of these rooms that are being talked about here. Well, this area is also pretty cool. I mean, it's not jumping around on the Thieves' Highway, but it's pretty good for a goal type of area. Pretty big and full of the challenges. And the weird black shaggy. <laughs> if it's not random, it's definitely so precise that you got to be paying way too much attention on some occasions, or just remember certain details, like where their heads are, or exactly what angle they're turned. I don't know. What was that? <laughs> so I guess suddenly it's the barracks rather than the cells. Must have forgotten and misremembered. place is quite a bit bigger than I was expecting. I don't know why I would have been expecting it to be smaller, because it is like a watch station, and they got jails and stuff. So, yeah. Man, this is extreme amount of ammunition. I'll say it again, it's an extreme amount of ammunition. I mean, wow, it just keeps on coming. Huh? Remember to ask the captain about the waste room's broken gate again. Tell Raimi he shouldn't be moonlighting at the Biddlecombe house. 4827, remember? What? Remember the number. I guess that's the evidence code. I don't know why he wrote down what instead of just saying it. But hey, Castle Arg Syndrome is the best syndrome. Better than Stockholm Syndrome and uh, being a millionaire disease.
Oh, hey, it's a piece of moldy cheese. That's pretty great. I can stick it under the bed. There. Prophecy fulfilled. <laughs> Boots in a silly cartoonish pose. Locked for some reason. There may be a coin under there, but I don't care. I've reached my loot goal already. Do I look like a guy who wants to find every single loot in a mission, which is probably pretty difficult to do so? No, I don't. I look like a disembodied voice. Come on. What? God, these guys, they turn their heads around and it's its harder than Thief because they do that and... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Why would you turn your head? No! Don't take out your imaginary sword. Oh, he took out his imaginary sword. Man, I've been playing forever, but I'm just kind of having fun, so I just keep going. Right, you gonna close that door there, son? Ridiculous. Yeah, huh? You were wrong. So I've got that big old electricity right beside some wooden pillars. It's pretty safe. Eh, Axel. Well, that's interesting. They have names, do they? I well, wasn't even anything here. Other than some carrots. Can't even touch the carrots, though. My eyesight is already perfectly good enough in the dark. Oh, I guess these are the cells then. Wow, this could almost be a whole small level by itself. Slight exaggeration. Well, you know what cells when people are bleeding from the gloom and all sorts of freaking weird nonsense. Also, when it's purposely designed to be as ludicrously spooky and eerie as possible. Yeah, these actually have writing on them, but you can barely read. But something is written there, and I'm like, super curious to know what? But, eh, alas, it won't happen. Well, one of these cells, number one, it's got a few coins on the floor. Oh, I see. They are numbered. They did bother to make numbers in this dreary place. At least mathematics is thriving, I suppose. Um, right. I don't know where any coins are here, so I guess I'll just not bother with life. <laughs> Alright, well, that's quite long enough. Didn't really have a climactic end. I don't know why I keep thinking that has to happen, because it doesn't. So, next time I'll finish clearing this place out and go waltzing across the street singing hallelujah. And any sort of other non-religiously denominated sign of joy. Okay, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.